Another death connected to a fraternity rocking a college campus, this time in Kentucky. An 18-year-old fraternity member was found dead inside a University of Kentucky fraternity house. The coroner identified that student as Thomas Lofton Hazelwood. And News Agent correspondent Janelle Fort is live for us tonight. Janelle, obviously a tragic situation here. Do we know if the fraternity will be held responsible in any way? Well, Nicole, for now, the university has suspended all activities uh, at the university for the farmhouse fraternity, and there's two separate investigations going on into this, one by the campus police, the other by the school's Office of Student Conduct. Hazelnut was found unresponsive at that frat house Monday evening. He was rushed to the hospital, and unfortunately, doctors were unable to revive him. Now, he was just 18 years old again, a freshman, he hadn't been on campus long and he had just joined that fraternity. And the coroner says that Hazelwood's likely cause of death was alcohol poisoning. They're waiting for a toxicology reports to come back and it's been ruled an accident. Where he was drinking and with who right now is still unclear. But unfortunately, this isn't something that's uncommon. In fact, we've seen it at universities across the country. In recent years, fraternities and sororities have been under fire for alcohol related incidents where students have either gotten really sick or died. This year alone, we saw 15 Washington State University students charged in connection with the alcohol-related death of a fraternity pledge, as well as eight current and former students at Bowling Green State University in Ohio indicted on charges including manslaughter and hazing after a similar incident where a student died there. Now, the University of Kentucky officials are promising to get to the bottom of the circumstances surrounding uh, Hazelwood's death. They said that they're gonna be transparent throughout the process. And then once they have that information, they said they're gonna go back and reflect on the university's policies to see if anything needs tweaking to make sure that nothing like this happens again, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely not. Just 18 years old, our thoughts certainly go out to his family. Janelle, thank you for that.